The global push away from fossil fuels is growing, but what alternatives do car manufacturers have to trusty old gasoline? Taking an overview of the current renewably sourced automobile fuel industry, we see a growing shift to electric vehicles. Electric cars are feeling a revolution across the globe, but their sustainability still needs work to be proven in the long term. Don't get me wrong, the future of electric cars is bright, but at the current state of the global energy grid, their global environmental impact has only been displaced to the coal plants that ultimately power them. Without divulging too much into the environment, mental debate, electric vehicles or EVs are likely at the forefront of a non-fossil fuel powered automotive future. However, it would be naive to assume that EVs are the only solution. Some of the more widely known alternatives to fossil fuels are hydrogen fuel cells and biofuels. While their availability is in sharp contrast to the widespread use of electric power, their sustainability isn't in question. Examining hydrogen fuel cells, they began their lives in the depths of NASA research at the heart of the space age. Hydrogen was used as a propellant for the Saturn V rocket series, and now it's being used to power your family car. Well, almost. In terms of viability of such an explosive fuel, hydrogen is much more energy rich than gasoline and even EV batteries. Not to mention, you can literally, not to overstate, drink the exhaust of hydrogen powered cars, otherwise known as friendly dihydrogen monoxide. It, it's water. The current hurdles the automotive industry faces in scaling hydrogen fuel cells is both their cost and societal stigma. Being that hydrogen fuel cells began as part of space research, it's no wonder that cost is an issue. And being that it began as rocket fuel again, the general view of hydrogen fuel is that it's dangerous and explosive, although the public viewpoint is slowly becoming more favorable to the idea. Like any other fuel research endeavor, the cost of manufacturing will drop, and the public image of hydrogen fuel will grow stronger. In the big picture, hydrogen fuel will likely never overtake EVs because modern infrastructure can never catch up to support a large-scale hydrogen power movement. However, nearly every automotive manufacturer has produced in the past concept fuel cars, with Toyota, Honda, and Hyundai being the only companies to make their fuel cell vehicles commercially available. All that said, it would be a little remiss of me to not discuss electric vehicles further given a discussion of alternatives to fossil fuels, but we'll keep their evaluation short given the current general knowledge of the industry. Nearly every automotive manufacturer has produced either a hybrid drive or fully electric vehicle on a production scale. EVs don't only lend themselves to smart cars, electric drive engines are powerful enough that Mercedes-Benz and BMW both built supercars with fully electric drive systems at their core that being the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG and the BMW i8. Looking at the shift away from fossil fuels in terms of sustainability and lessening of environmental impact, EVs do still have some work to do. Due to the use of heavy, chemically rich batteries and the offset of power to these coal fire plants, it would be easy to argue that EVs are just as harmful to fossil fuels, and many people do argue that. However, once modern infrastructure comes around and electricity electricity can be generated in a more sustainable way, EVs will likely lead the future in the automotive industry. Looking at other alternatives, we're left with biofuels, or plant-based fuels. This is the last major alternative to automotive power. Unlike hydrogen fuel cells and EVs, biofuels would require no reworking of the current automotive infrastructure. Gas stations would simply be converted to output the necessary liquid biofuels. The most common biofuel is ethanol, an ethyl alcohol fuel derived from cellulose from plants. You're likely already using ethanol-infused gasoline in your cars, and for the most part, the shift completely to biofuels is commercially viable in the current age. The downside to biofuels, and likely the reasons why we haven't seen a shift already, is the massive amount of land that would need to be devoted to their production as well as the fact that not every car can handle the fuel mixture. Converting completely to biofuel would directly compete with food production and land use. The global economy may very well shift to an agricultural one if biofuels are widely adopted, and that spells a number of other environmental
environmental problems that come from commercial farming. The automotive industry is no longer one where companies can afford to take a back seat in the realm of power. They now employ top teams of researchers to find ways to power the next generation of cars. Whatever the future for car power is, within the next 20 years, we'll likely see fossil fuels fall to the background.